Hey guys, welcome back. This is your boy Raheem. Hopefully you didn't miss me too bad, but guess what? I'm back. So this video is going to be a quick video of me restoring this old cast iron skillet that I found in my grandma's basement. This skillet dates back to when I used to live on the south side back in like 2014, 2015. But guess what? We're going to put it back to use. Let's go. Guys, check this out. This skillet is rusty. I would say it's bad, but honestly, cast iron skillets never go bad. You just need to know how to restore them. This is a 10 and a half inch cast iron skillet made in Korea. And I'm going to bring it back to life with just baking soda and SOS pads. Let's get it. Let's go. Everything that you guys are seeing on the screen was purchased from a dollar store. So all in total, it came out to about three dollars. And also, don't forget your cookies. Always need your cookies. Now, once again, the skillet set in my grandma's basement since 2015-ish. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer. Don't judge me, but this is what happens when you just leave skillets unseasoned out in the open. Okay guys, grab you a bowl, grab the baking soda, pour the baking soda in the bowl as I'm showing you right now. Go over to the sink, pour water in the mixture, mix it all up, don't be afraid of it. Get it to a nice consistency. Then we're gonna use this inside of the skillet. So, I can't tell you exactly what this baking soda water does to this rust take my word pour this in here make sure you spread it all around then you need something that's going to be able to scrub the rust off vigorously I use the SOS pad as you're seeing right now I think this is called like a Brillo pad or something I use this pad just to scrub it out and every single scene I want you to pay attention to how much the baking soda breaks down it's going to turn into like this caramelized rust soup. Don't drink the soup, rinse out the soup. Now every scene from this point forward, I really want you to pay attention to how much rust is rinsed off or wiped off. Now, I could have cut a lot of this out, but on the back end, I wanna let you know, I did this process with the Brillo pad at least three times, rinsing, baking soda, rinsing, baking soda, outside, Brillo pad, rinse off. Just pay close attention to how much rust comes off every single time I do this. Now this process is quite interesting. What I'm doing here is warming up the cast iron skillet just to wipe it off. This is an important test to see how dirty or how much rust is still on the napkin. Now every time you scrub with the Brillo pad or SOS pad, it's going to be a little brown, but you're looking for rust. Every time I rinse it off from this point forwards, I make sure the water is scalding hot. That's the key as hot as you can handle. More baking soda. And from this point forwards, you gotta really get in there with your Brillo pad.
So this is the third and final time of me using the Brillo pad and baking soda. This point, I turn the aisle off, keep the skillet on the stove, grab the Brillo pad one more time, make sure some water's on it, and this is gonna be an extremely dry, abrasive scrub. Make sure you rinse off the Brillo pad every once in a while to add more water to the skillet. And you're gonna just keep working this in until you see it come to this point in which the baking soda has broken down. Now this is the third time, but it's still just not up to my liking. So I'm gonna take you to the next step. Okay guys, as you see, the outside still has a little surface rust. So we're gonna move up to the next tool, which is the SOS pad. But since I shopped at the dollar store, I don't know what this SOS pad is called. Here it goes right here. This SOS pad is a steel wool pad. It also has soap inside of it too. Get it wet, get the skillet wet. And this one, we're gonna scrub really, really, really hard. Okay, so the SOS process, I only did this two times and it was really abrasive. I didn't use baking soda. Just make sure you scrub as hard as you can. And honestly, the outside of this skillet started to look pretty nice. Okay, now that we're back on the stove, we're heating up the skillet. Grab some napkins, wipe off the skillet, fold the towel, wipe it off one more time, check it for coloration. There's no rust as you guys will see. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay guys, at this point, it's gonna move kind of quick. So I washed the skillet with soap. Now we're back on the aisle. We're going to heat it up, and wipe it off. And I'm gonna let you guys check the coloration. Now at this point, I'm satisfied. I'm just gonna dry off the skillet and show you guys what it's looking like. Now that's up to my satisfaction. I'm using vegetable oil. You use whatever you want. This skillet is old. I've already neglected it. So vegetable oil is going to get the job done for me. All right guys, so I season my skillets at 450 for about 30 minutes. You can do whatever works best for you, but we're gonna put these oven mitts on and take the skillet out. Now that we have the skillet out, that looks beautiful. I would say it looks new, but who am I kidding? This thing isn't new, but it looks nice. That's all that matters. The rust is gone. We've used baking soda to attack the rust so that it doesn't come back. We've scrubbed all the rust off. So that being said, make sure you hit that like button, comment something down below, and most importantly, keep staying positive until next time and make sure you keep those cast iron skillets up to date. Until next time, peace.